thank you for calling. This is the Granada Phone Answering Service. As your request will be recorded, please say your name, address, and phone number if possible, and spell out the street and town. Then give the advertisers you are interested in. Please speak slowly and clearly. This is Granada. Well, we must apologise to you for a break in transmitting tonight's programmes, which began at 7 o'clock. And for all Coronation Street fans who've been waiting for the latest developments in the street, and particularly between Mike Baldwin and Deirdre and Ken Barlow, our particular apologies. But at the same time, our assurance that you won't miss anything, because tonight's episode will be shown next Wednesday night at 7.30. That's the usual Coronation Street time. Now, the rest of tonight's programmes are as advertised, beginning in a few moments' time with Quincy investigating a plane crash at sea and discovering to his horror that the 97 people aboard died needlessly. At half past ten, celebration evokes the life and works of Thomas de Quincey, whose existence was torn between agony and ecstasy by an enduring addiction to opium. Born in Manchester, de Quincey became a best-selling writer with the publication of his famous work, Confessions of an English Opium Eater. He's been called the Harold Robbins of his time. That's in celebration at half past ten. Our final programme at twenty-five past eleven is another case for private investigator Joe Mannix. So those are our programmes for the rest of this Monday evening and once again our apologies for any inconvenience you may have been caused by our inability to transmit during the past two hours. And now, Jack Klugman as police pathologist Quincy. isn't very well, so we've had to cancel tonight's edition of Today Tonight. We hope she'll be better soon, but it means that we've had to bring forward, uh, by ten minutes, tonight's for adults only film. The question is, where's Jack? <laughs> Now in Granada, we're off to a mountain in the north of Sweden in search of Father Christmas. Sunday means entertainment here on Granada. Seven well, now on Granada, Audrey Hepburn and Albert Finney star in the Sunday matinee, a light-hearted story of a couple that takes a perceptive look over their 12 years of marriage. Two for the road. Here on Granada, the national news 
from ITN. musical celebration for Granada's 30th birthday. It begins this Saturday. And if music be to your liking, who better to demonstrate than Art Blakey, captured live in concert at Ronnie Scott's. But now Alistair Burnett and Sandy Gall bring us tonight's news at 10. This is Granada. This is Granada. Now, Clive James on television. This is Granada, and now Ian Holm stars in A Tale of the Unexpected. <laughs> Well, now, can you spot those who will tell the truth? <laughs> 